In this lecture, we are going to implement sorting feature for our API so that a user can sort the data based on a given field. Let's go to Postman and if we go to Get All Movies API and there if we don't specify any query string and if we go ahead and if we make a request, in the result we will get all the movies. So here you can see the length of the result which we have received here is 8. Basically, in the response we have 8 movie objects. Now let's say we want to sort this result by price. So we want to have a movie with the lowest price at the top and the movie with the highest price in the bottom of the result. So we want to sort the movie's result in ascending order. And again, we are going to use query string to sort the result. So here we want to sort this result by price. So here we are going to specify a query string for that we specify the question mark first and then the query string should be sort equals price. Okay, so let's go to VS code. And here, the first thing which we are going to do is, we are going to check if the query object has the sort property. So here, let's go ahead and let's write an if statement. And there, let's check if this request.query, if it has a sort property. And let's move this line after this line. Okay. All right. So if the query object has this sort query string in that case we want to sort the movie and for that on this movies array we can call the sort method and we want to assign this sorted result back to this movies array so let's say movies equals movies dot sort but here if you notice we have defined this movies array this movies variable using this const keyword okay so when we have used const keyword here we cannot modify this variable. So here, let's go ahead and let's change it to let. All right, now to this sort method, we also need to pass the field by which we want to sort the result. So we want to sort the result by the value which we have assigned to the sort query. So here to this sort query, we have assigned price. So basically, we want to sort the result by price. For that, here we can simply go ahead and pass request dot query dot and then the sort property so whatever value is assigned to this sort property this expression will be replaced by that value in our example this expression will be replaced by price okay with this let's save the changes let's go to postman and currently if i show you the price of the first movie is 50 if i scroll down the price of the second movie is 47 then the price of the third movie is 52. So as you can see, this data is currently not sorted. But now if I go ahead and click on this send button, you see, we have an error here. And the error says the comparison function must be either a function or undefined. So basically, if I go to VS code, it is saying that to this sort method, we can either pass nothing, that means undefined, or we need to pass a callback function. But that is the case with the array sort method in JavaScript. Here, we want to use the sort method of mongoose. So, why it is not working? The problem here is, here, when we are calling this find method, on that, we are using this await keyword. So, in that case, this find method is going to return the result, which will be assigned to this movies. So, in this movies, an array will be stored. Right. But this sort method is a query method. Okay, so mongoose sort method is a query method. It can only be used on a query object. So to solve this problem, what we need to do is, we need to remove this await keyword from here. So here we are not going to wait for the result. Instead, this find method, when it will be called, in this case, it is going to return a query object. So let me go ahead and let me call it as query. And here also, instead of using movies, let's use query. And here also, let's use query and now we are going to create a movie object so let's call it movies and then we are going to await this query basically this query so now if i save the changes and if we go to postman and now if we go ahead and if we make this get request so here we want to sort the result by price let's click on this send button and now you can see we have the result 
and if I scroll down now the result should be sorted in ascending order you can see first movie has this price 40 second movie has 47 third movie has 50 then again 52 so as you can see the result is sorted in ascending order okay now if you want to sort the result in descending order then all you have to do is you have to use this minus sign before the field name and now if we go ahead and if we make the request now the result should be sorted in descending order so the movie with the highest price should be at the top as you can see and the movie with the lowest price should be in the bottom okay so as you can see the result is sorted in descending order now, if you want to sort the result by two fields, for example, let's say first we want to sort the result by price and then we want to sort the result by ratings. Okay, so here, since we are using minus in front of price, first it will sort the result in descending order and then that sorted result will be again sorted based on the ratings if the two movies has the same price. Now, when we want to sort the result by two or more fields, in that case to this sort method we need to specify those fields separated by space so for example it should look something like this here we want to sort the result by release here and then we also want to sort it by ratings so for that we will specify a space and then ratings okay but if you go to postman there you see we are separating these sort fields by a comma so here we need to replace this comma with a space let's go back to vs code and let's go ahead and let's do that so here let's create a new field and let's call it maybe sort by okay let me make this as lowercase and what we are going to do is on this request dot query dot sort we are going to split it so for that we are going to use this split function and there we will specify the character by which we want to split the string so there the character is comma okay and it is going to return us an array and now in that array we will have two elements the first element will be release here and the second element will be ratings and now what we want to do is we want to join these two elements which we have inside the array which this expression is going to return so for that we are going to use the join method and how do we want to join it we want to join it by a space like this so now in this sort by we will have a string and in that string we will have release here and ratings separated by space it will look something like this and to quickly show you that let me go ahead and let me log this sort by string let's save the changes let's go to postman let's make a request and don't worry about the results here let's go to vs code and there you will see release here and ratings has been logged okay so we want to pass this string to this sort method so here let's go ahead and let's pass this sort by here let's save the changes let's go back to postman so currently as you can see uh, this movie result which we have here it is sorted by release year so for the first movie object the release year is 2014 for the second movie object also the release year is 2014 for the third movie object the release year is again 2014 then for the next movie object it is 2013 and so on so basically this movie result is sorted by release year now we also want to sort it by ratings so the first second and third movie object has the same release here but their ratings are different for the first movie object the ratings is 6.4 for the second movie object the ratings is 7.7 .7, and for the third movie object the ratings is 7.9 so all these three movie objects has the same release here but their ratings are different and now if we go ahead and if we make a request to this url where we are specifying the sort as release here and then ratings so first it should sort the result by release here and then it should short the sorted result by ratings let's actually see that in action so when i click on the send button here we have the result in this result the first movie object has the release year 2014 the second movie object has the release year again 2014 the third movie object has the release year 2014 and if you notice 
this result is also sorted by ratings so first movie object has this rating 6.4 the second movie object has a rating of 7.7 .7, and the third movie object has a rating of 7.9 so these are also sorted by ratings in ascending order we can also sort this result first by release year in descending order and then also by ratings in descending order by using a minus sign in front of ratings all right so now our sorting logic is working as expected let me remove this console.log statement from here and this comment as well so here we have written our sorting logic now let's say if the user has not provided any sort query string in the url then by default we want to sort the result by this created at field okay so by default if no sorting field is specified in the url in that case we want to sort the result by this created at field let's see how we can do that so let's go back to vs code and there after this if statement let's also add the else part and there let me copy this line let's paste it here and there to this sort function to this sort method let's pass created at okay and we want to sort the result in descending order so we want the newly created movie at the top and the oldest created movie in the bottom for that let's also use this minus sign here let's save the changes let's go to postman and there since we have not specified any sort field here in the url now it should sort the result by this created at field so let me click on this send button here and now the result should be sorted by this created at field now since we imported all these movie objects they all will have the same date and time okay so as you can see all these movies has almost same date and time because we imported all these movies at once but if we go ahead and if we add a new movie object then that movie object will be shown at the top in the result and that is if we don't specify any sort field here if we specify the sort fields in that case the result will be sorted by those fields all right now before wrapping up this lecture here we talked about the query object so here i mentioned that this find method it is going to return a query so let's quickly learn how the query actually works in mongoose and it's very important to understand how a query works so as i mentioned here this find method is going to return a query and that's the reason why on this find method we can chain another methods like where equals gte lte etc so let me actually take you to the documentation so this is the documentation of mongoose 7.0 now here if i scroll down we have this query so let me click on that and here you can see all the query methods so here we have a query object so when we use find method it returns an object which is a query and so in query dot prototype we have all these query methods for example if i scroll down we have this equals method we have this find method which is also a query method this find one method find one and delete find one and replace find one and update so these are the methods which we have used if i scroll a bit more we should also see sort method so here you can see we have this sort method so all these methods are query methods and that's why we are able to chain these methods in our code here okay and here also we are chaining that method and here's the important part if I go ahead and if I use this await keyword here, as soon as we await the result of the query using this await keyword, the query will then execute and it will come back with all the documents that actually matches our query. And those documents will be assigned to this variable. So here, in this case, the find method is not returning a query object. It is returning a result. And that result we are assigning to this query variable and this sort method here it is basically a query method which can only be used on a query object and since this query does not store any query object now it stores a result when we use this sort method 
the Node.js things that here we are trying to use the sort method of JavaScript array and not the mongoose sort method. And instead of sort, if we try to use any other query method also, there also we will get an error. Because currently this query is not storing a query object, it is storing a result. And that's why what we do here is instead of awaiting for the result, we simply assign the query object which this find method will return to this query variable and then we can use other query methods on this query object and then at the end we can await for the result from that query object. I hope this concept is clear now. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.